your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. Steady up and give them another heading so you can parallel them like that. And I think at a certain point I put the nose on him, still couldn't see him yet. And just about the time he'd be coming into view, I'd say, okay, he's about uh, three degrees high, should be about uh, maybe an inch above your right mirror. Okay, and the guy'd look up his mirror on, a, on the windscreen, the canopy bow here, and say, Tally ho, which means I see him. And that, that made me feel really great. I couldn't then you do have that to make today. a visual ID of the guy. Yes. Yeah. So our head-on, five-mile range Sparrow missile there was pointless. If it worked, it was great. But first we had to go in the And what you're going to have is fantastic. And that's a, that's a of course, the radar works on a dominant range. So you can't shoot the airplane going up. But later on, they modified yeah, yeah. the layers of the missile could. But in the early days, it was only good head-on.
the deck. You tend to take off power because you think you're going to be high, and the next thing you know, you get the back of the ship. So the LSO is back there watching. They're listening, and they know what you're doing. And they can sort of anticipate what you're doing. Especially if they see you coming in high, and they know you got to get back down on the glide slope, and you might overdo it, and then get really low, and you get into So often when the planes are landing, do they stay well, maybe one out of 15. Okay. And that could be for pitching deck. Sure. Yeah, it could be a foul deck. It could be that you just, if you land high, way above light slope, you miss the wires. You land beyond the wire. So for a pilot, it's okay to be a little high, catch the, number, the last wire. You don't want to be, you can be a little low, catch the one wire. You don't get good grades for that. But you don't want to be really so How many wires are there? Three. Okay. Four on some carriers, three or four, it just depends on the carrier. The target wire is easily the three or the two wire. So if you're a little high, you're going to do the four wire. If you're really high, you miss them and then you go around, yeah. which isn't all bad. You know, you come around and do it again. But the downside to that is that it takes about a thousand pounds of fuel to go around the pattern, and you only, you only got five passes to start with. Now you're down to four, you're down to three. And that can get really anxious. <laughs> things, things really get so getting excited. Uh, how much does the deck Four to four, five feet. Four or five feet, feet in pitching deck? Yeah, it can go higher. Yeah. The ideal, when an airplane crosses the deck exactly on glide slope, there's 12 feet between the hook point and the bottom of the So the deck's moving 14 feet. The LSO talks to you with that. That's why the LSO is so The deck is pitching. The glide slope is, is stabilized all the time. So the pilot can fly the glide slope regardless of what the deck is doing. The glide slope should be pure, three and a half degree glide slope. And if you talk to the LSO, you might say, well, the deck is moving. You fly the ball, the deck's moving. What he's going to do is you start getting into that decision. As long as the deck is up, Times. Okay. And as you get into that point, he, he might say, this is not going to work, yeah. not going to work. And sure enough, you know, wave off. Or it's, it's the luck of the draw when you're back there. Yeah. Which is why it's not nice flying with a pitching deck, especially at night.
rise above personal issues, like being away from their families for months at a time. If just one Midway sailor fails, we all fail. And I can guarantee you, that can turn a few hairs gray. This is the officer of the deck. The boilers are back online and fly off years ago. Thanks, Art. I'll be right up. Being captain of the USS Midway is a brutal job, but it's also the best job of my career, because the stakes are as high as the rewards. Imagine commanding an aircraft carrier and being solely responsible for the safety of so many sailors in one of the most dangerous environments you can find anywhere. It's a humbling responsibility, but I'll value it for the rest of my life. Well, I'll have to finish my paperwork here. Flight ops are about to start. I hope you'll think about the extraordinary dedication of my crew as you continue your tour. They make midway magic every day. Thanks for coming aboard.